Hello everybody, welcome back to Road Ridge. We're going solo today and we are going to be testing some products. Now, the kind folks down at Auto Finesse, a well-known detailing company, I'm really surprised about this, they reached out to me on Instagram and basically said, would you like to try some of our products? And I was like, yes, of course, why would I not? <laughs> so that is a real treat and um, they have sent me a few items that I am going to test out. And I did also say to them that I'm going to be totally honest in the video. I'm not going to say that it's the world's best car detailing product just because they sent it to me and they were cool about it as well. So I'm going to sort of test some of their products, try to show you that in the video and um, we're going to have some fun along the way. So let's crack on. So the first product I'm going to test is this Auto Finesse Dynamite. I'm really glad they sent this to me because I don't actually use traffic film removers or also known as TFRs. Okay, because Auto Finesse have sent me this traffic film remover, I went and got myself a nice little pump sprayer from Auto Glim, not Auto Finesse. Sorry guys, but I like to mix it up a bit and I did actually pay for that with my own money. And we're gonna talk about that right now. And the only reason I bought that is because I wanted something decent to put this in and sort of spray it over the car. And typically people use pump sprayers with traffic film removers um, because obviously you don't need to attach it to a jet wash. You can just pump it up and spray. Um, it just makes the process a lot easier. This is gonna be a bit of a fun experience for me to test this traffic film remover, but also to test that Autoglim pump sprayer. So why don't we uh, get this in that and crack on with the video. Yeah, that seems good. Oh yeah, look at that. That is really good. Hmm, not bad. Right, let's actually use it now before we waste more product. So from what I understand, with traffic film removers, you're not supposed to use these on the high part of the car um, because the point is, is on the lower sections of the car is where you get the traffic film. Typically when the roads are wet um, and in the winter, when you get that mixture of sort of salt from where the roads are being gritted and oil and water, or if you you're just someone who does a lot of motorway miles or a lot of driving in between washes and you get sort of that build up of film not so much in the summer um but yeah so we're not going to apply it to like the roof um or the bonnet we're just going to apply it to the lower half of the car and um see if it's any good so let's do this right You know what? I quite like this. I quite like this method of working, having a little pump sprayer that's easily portable. And if you've got a heavily dirty car that's covered in either traffic film or dirt or whatever, but this is a nice way to soften the dirt before you go to the snow foam stage to ultimately prevent swirl marks. So yeah, I like this. This is good. We've had to, um, you know, we've had to pump it up a few times, but that's to be expected. Okay, so we've had about five to seven minutes of soaking time using this dynamite on the car. 
um, and now it's time to get the pressure washer out and to see if it's softened up the dirt enough that it comes off with the pressure washer, which I'm hoping it has. So uh, let's get the pressure washer and see if this product is any good or not. Okay, so I just want to give you an example of how much dirt it has removed. I've just done this rear quarter, haven't really touched the door. It's really hard to see because um, this car isn't that dirty. It hasn't been washed in a long time, but it's not filthy. So uh, hopefully this helps, but that's the rear quarter panel. And then there's the door. Okay guys, so what are my thoughts on Auto Finesse's traffic film remover, Dynamite? Should you buy it or should you avoid it? Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. For me personally, it is a bit of a redundant purchase because I use some pretty potent snow foams as it is already. And you know which one I'm talking about. And that snow foam in particular is on another level to this. However, if you're someone who doesn't have access to wash their car regularly or just can't wash their car for weeks or months on end then actually maybe this could fit into your detailing regime quite nicely because it is going to help soften up that dirt before you get to the snow foam side so say for example you use this to soften up the dirt then you put your snow foam on and that's just going to really help cut into that dirt soften it up so when you do come to pressure wash it it just falls off the car leaving minimal dirt on the surface of the car so you can minimize the risk of scratches when you come to the contact stage so if you're someone like that who doesn't have access to be able to wash their car often then i do think this could fit into your detailing regime quite nicely but for me personally it is just a bit redundant however i have used a lot of it i'm nearly out of it and it is a good product auto finesse thank you so much for sending it to me it does exactly what it says on the tin i think out of all the traffic film removers i've tried a long long time ago this one is the best one i've used to date so massive shout out to auto finesse thank you so much for sending me this to try i really appreciate that and it's nice that you guys said that i could say whatever i like about it um, and you're okay with that because I think a lot more companies should be doing that because at the end of the day You guys want to see my honest thoughts not a paid advertisement. No one wants that. Okay, because that's boring but uh, yeah, this is my honest thoughts and Yeah, it's a good product, but I think for me in my circumstance and With my detailing sort of workflow I'm gonna not buy this but hey You might like it so anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.